Hello, what's up guys? Well, uh, today is an unboxing and uh, also a setup of uh, a new gizmo I bought for myself actually, uh, which is a uh, Netgear uh, Ready NAS. Okay, it's a 4 bay network attached storage device, which is model number is RN104. I bought it on bought it from Amazon when it was a it was a a, a deal on it. Being honest with you, that's why I bought it. Otherwise, there's no point buying something like this for me actually. So I already got a NAS drive on my on my net, home network where I could put my all all videos and everything in it. But thing is, I could not access it from abroad or anything like that because most of the time I have to travel abroad for my business trips and things like that. So that's what's going to help me. Actually, I can set up the Plex server and have different different things on it, so I can use it on uh, use it on the go. So that's what I'm going to do, and uh, it's going to hold all my all my all my uh, movies and everything on it too. And what I'm going to do actually, I order a hard drive too, which is hard drive is uh, is that one, which is also a NAS ready, which is red. Okay, it's a NAS ready drive, WS red NAS hard drive. Okay, rather than buying a green one, I bought this red one. I thought it was a recommended one, that's why I bought it. Don't ask me a question about it. Why, why, and why? What is the difference between green and green and uh, red? Simple as that. It said that you know it's it's, it's recommended for that particular particular. Uh, a device so I just bought it simple as that it was pretty expensive but it's all right you know sometimes you gotta spend a little bit of money to get up quality so it's a four terabyte which is by w uh, wd okay so I'm um, what I'm gonna do is you know I'm gonna do unboxing first and then we're gonna use it Okie dokie. I do not have any particular uh, there you go it's easy there you go they are very easy indeed okay and as you can see that, I can tell you a bit of a description about it while I'm un unlocking it and opening it, is uh, that you can do a file sharing, all these net securities and everything is that data, data storage protection is also there, MacBook, cloud synchronization is also there, remote access is there, virtual virtualization ready is there, and Windows backup system, there's a media player anywhere is also there. It is also supports DV, DLNA, ready DNLA as well. It's a pretty good one, actually it's got the best thing is three year warranty. Anything goes wrong, three year warranty is here for you to support you. Normally though, nothing goes wrong on these sort of devices, you know, honestly speaking. My NAS is, other NAS is running from, that is from D-Link actually, it's been running from last, uh, last four years, you know, I never had any problem with it. So. What you got inside? Okay, just right there. You got a you got a just box right there. In this box, what we got inside? Oh, here we go. Simple uh, adapter. Adapter. AC adapter. European plug. Sorry, UK plug. Ethernet cable. Because it's not a Wi-Fi enabled, it's an Ethernet cable. And also European connection. Oh, American actually American connection cable too. So. Let's put them all separately. Once it comes to the powering up, we're gonna do that and put them put this in all these different different things separately. Okay, let's open up over the main thing, which is the main show thing. Okay, what else we got in here? Ah, a little bit of instruction manual and the CD for the resources and everything. Obviously, to how to set it up and things like that to make it much easier for you guys to understand it. That's very handy to have. Okay, let's open up. There you go, simple as that box is empty. Let's throw it throw this box away. Don't need it. There we go. There you go. Straight away. Here's our hard drive. Simple. Sorry, not hard drive, NAS, NAS drive system. Take it out, take it out. Simple as that. There we go. Let's open up. Nice to, looks very nice. Looks very good actually, to be honest with you. In the front right here we got a USB card, USB port on it obviously it will let you let you put uh, USB USBs as well in it there's a backup button on the press of a button because it's got a four hard drive and you can set up the red controls and everything so it's got a four hard drive you press off the button it will back up all these different different things on you obviously the power button and also this is a I think action button too and right there right here it's got a one two three four that means that defines the bay hard drive bay which is running on things like that you can simply open up like that and right here in the front, it's got a display in it where you're going to display all different different things like, you know, IP addresses and things like that. So these are our hard drives. How do you, how do we open them? So that's the question to me. Okay. 
There we go, right there in the middle here, it's got a button right there. So you're gonna, obviously going to tick over this button to get him out. There we go, it, there's a button right there. There's a button, if you can see that I think. Button right there, you push it that way and it comes out and you can just simply slide it out. There you go, simply slide it out and it's all here. You can, how you can put your hard drive in there. It's no instruction required. I've not read the manual or anything like that. It's straight away I'm following it. You just put your finger in there, push the button that way. There you go, simple. Just slide him out. That's how easy it is. That's very good and handy to know that. Okay, let's close this one away. And let's have a look at what we got on the back side of it. Okay, it's a pretty heavy on, there we go, that's very good. It's got a handle to hold, you know, that's very good. And it's a pretty huge fan on the back. That's going to be noisy for sure. Okay, so let's have a look at the things here. Okay, it's got a USB slots here, which are 3.0 USBs. That's very good. Two of them and two Ethernet, two LAN cards too. Two LAN cards and obviously the power connection and eSATA as well available right there. There you go. It's pretty all handy and useful connections are there. So that means, you know, even though after using this four hard drive, you wanted to put something else on it, shouldn't be a problem. On the back here, you can hook it in. Simple as that. There you go. That's not, that's not bad at all. And it's very firm as well, you know. Once you put it somewhere, it just stays there. Simple as that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to power it up and uh, fix it uh, on my Netgear router, which is just down, 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 uh, down, uh, down into my living room. So I'm going to configure everything right there. It's a simple connection. Obviously, I'm going to connect this my, to with my router by using the Ethernet connection. So, and power it up and everything and put the hard drive. Let's, let's install the hard drive and show you how to install it. Hopefully, I'll be able, able to do that without any instruction. But let's see. I'm going to install only one hard drive. I'm not going to install the three, three, four, you know, because I'm not bothered. It's going to be only kept, kept in the movies. So I'm not, not bothered, you know, how it's going to hold it or not, whatever. Does it matter? Okay. A little bit of instruction right here. That I need to read a bit, a little bit about it, being honest with you. So it's gonna go like that. So let's, there's a little bit of instructions available right here, how you're gonna do that. So, so let me, let me go through that one first. Give you these instructions. If so, all right guys, so let me show you how you can install the hard drive into it. So simple as that, by pushing this button upwards, so it's number one here and number two right here. Push it in and slide that one out. Simple as that. Once you slide out, as you can simply see that, these are simple, simple, uh, simple, which acts as a holding nuts for the hard drive. These are also available right there. So you slide your hard drive, simple as that. You make sure it's facing the other way. So you put it like that here. And just go simply down here as you can see it's all these holes holes and the nail sort of thing will fit in properly and you just slide it in off it goes suppose that it's been done now it's pretty good as you can see it's holding nicely no problem whatsoever with it okay now we're gonna install this one into our hard drive and we're gonna do that now so let's open up let's see let's put it right there first let's open up here we go right there so let me i'm going to install it on the bay number one so you need to look at right how you're going to do that so obviously it's going to go like that okay let's take him out there you go inside there you go we're going to do the same thing like that with him too okay facing that way downwards you just slide it in simply very easy to do that simply slide in there you go locked in finish job done close it off he goes. It's all ready. Now we're gonna hook it over uh, with our uh, net gear with our router, and let's see how what is what's the setup we need to do. Thank you. There you go. I've just installed my NAS drive on uh, my home network now. As you see, router is on the back. So let's gonna power it. I already powered it actually. I'm just gonna show you what happens when you press the power up button. It just uh, goes through the sequence on it. When it happened before, you know, it's just gone through different different things here and. Uh, on the display right in the bottom it just it displays quite different different things you know it uh, it did a bit of upgrade of the software as well on it and it was just straight away ready here you go it's booting up see everything what it does is is just shows on it and it's going to show you also the ip address which is running on it so that's how you're going to go to your internet explorer and install if you wanted to set up something and uh, 
and uh, that's 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 so simple as that so it's still booting up once it's boot up finish you can see that it will display an ip address on it there you go now it's ready and uh, nas ready is there and also it will display as time to time the ip address there we go ip address has also been displayed it's uh, selected as auto ISP ip de detection and right on the top as you can see that it's already put the hard drive on number one bay and this button which says it's ready and power button that's it so let me go back to my computer and understand it what else we need to do well this is the second part of my video where i'm going to show you how to how to configure uh, now nas which has already been running on your computer well, it's already really been on uh, running on your uh, on your network so what we're gonna do first first thing first we're gonna go to a location which is http if you got an internet available that's how you're gonna do it so it's called uh, ready there you go this is a, a address which is called ready cloud dot gear netgear.com you just enter it if you got internet connection available that's how you're gonna do it if you do not have then you have a CD available with your with your uh, with your NAS drive you're gonna use that one as like a, as a to configure as offline setup so once you install this one as you can see just right here so it says this from instruction right here welcome to the ready NAS cloud and you start by the setting of the ready NAS connected ready NAS which is connected to the router already and plugged in power is already there and once the discover once the discover <coughs> once LED is stop flashing obviously they will stop flashing the last time when I tried it you just need to press the discover button now once you press the discover it will find out your NAS drive which is available on your network there we go new NAS drive was discovered obviously and is also this is NAS drive which is the one which we have got is a ready NAS 104 with the one bay installed which is a four bay and but I have installed the hard drive in one of them and that's the serial number for this yes we would like to set it up Okay, you press the setup button. Obviously, it's gonna do all these uh, new things for you. So I'm gonna just gonna do that. Anyways, I'm going to change this address. Uh, everything so. this is the first time setup obviously if there's anything wrong with it it will tell us so you're trying to set up everything how you want it there you go it's all set up ready NAS if you wanted to give your ready NAS a name you can give him now so I'm gonna call my ready NAS is uh, ho home media okay, we're going to give him a name home underscore media underscore server okay because I'm going to install all my videos in it this is this is a limitation so I can have I can have uh, so many not so many names on it so let's decide the zone let's decide the zone Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I forgot it. My zone even. I'm on a, I'm on a green which means time actually. Uh, where's it going? Where's it going? Okay. There we go. There you go. Just right there. Press join. There you go. Okay. Press the backup button or OK button in the front of your NAS. So for that need, I need to go down and press the button because my NAS is just in my living room. So let me go down and press this button. As you can see that it's almost done so I just pressed it on the display on my device just said uh, 
she said okay here we go it's all done and it's all secured go next here we go simply everything is set up for you now there are three ways to access this readiness now there's three ways so I can access it anywhere in the world by going into the particular website I can do that and it's already cloud mobile app is also available there and also PC app is available if you got on Windows computer so let's get started okay he's asking me to update the system okay okay yes yes I want to update it is the first time I want to update everything on it so please do not power power up so this is the procedure which is gonna go on and on so let it finish first so we're gonna we are still updating it so it's taking a bit of time so let it be update once it's updated I'll come online again right firmware update is finished so let's press uh, that's what I screen you're gonna see in the end so you press ok there you go your NAS is ready and, and uh, NAS is done and all ready to use being honest with you now it's just nothing else you know it's a home media actually I put the wrong name oh, okay. that looks alright home media there you go it's all, all up and running now you can see this option right here and obviously that thing and manage in the manage you will see all the username and shared link and different different things here so antivirus is disabled you can have an antivirus enabled too you can have an antivirus enabled on it so let's see what you got in antivirus in there so these are quite many many things in there you know so it's quite it's pretty good actually I got a four terabyte hard drive as I've seen it installed it so obviously installed this firmware and everything is by bit in my about 500 GB there sorry 500 something there <laughs> there you go guys so uh, this is what I'm showing you so first thing for what we're gonna do next time is uh, I'm going to show you how to set up some some different different things on it you know like if you want to add something some new server or something like that like uh, if you want to set, set a media media you want to set a Plex media server on it and or iShare or something like that different different things I'm gonna do that do that later on so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please stay tuned for the next videos as well thank you guys cheers bye